Well, Jeff, the last time there was a homeless count here in Koreatown, it was 2019. And at that time, they thought there were about 800 unhoused people living here. In the last two years, that number has exploded. Today, homeless advocates told me they're also frustrated with the growing encampments, but they say this plan approved today is simply not the answer. I think the plan is awful. It's very disappointing. Homeless advocates are disgusted that with a 13 2 vote, the LA City Council today gave first approval to an ordinance restricting encampments around the city. Supporters say it will restore access to public areas. They are fueled by growing frustration over scenes like this immense stretch of tents along a sidewalk in Koreatown. But critics say the measure is not only anti camping, it's anti homeless. The way that we criminalize, push people around, push people through shelters. This is like the crisis of our lifetime. We have been leading with pushing people around. The ordinance bans encampments and prohibits sleeping, lying, and storing personal property near public places, including sidewalks and driveways, freeway overpasses, and on ramps, libraries, parks, schools, and homeless shelters. Proponents say a compassionate street engagement strategy would limit police getting involved, except when a crime is committed, and mandate public agencies offer people housing options. I think this will improve public safety. It will improve the safety of, of the homeless individuals in encampments themselves. But some on the council say it won't work. Councilman Mike Bonnet, who's facing a recall effort over his handling of the massive encampment on the Venice boardwalk, says the city has only enough beds to house 39% of the city's unhoused population. Being a city where tens of thousands of people sleep on the streets every night, is sick and inhumane. Under the ordinance, people who don't move would be fined, not arrested, and only after they are given two weeks' notice and offered shelter. One tool the city is using as it tries to help a homeless population estimated at 40,000. In no way should this ordinance be construed as seeking to further marginalize, dehumanize, criminalize. But that's precisely how homeless advocates see it. Are you going to give them a fine of $200, $500 just because they have nowhere else to go? Are you going to force them into a shelter that, uh, that are basically carceral conditions where you have to be in by 7 p.m., where you can't bring in more than a certain amount of, 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 of of your belongings with you. What they need is, is really housing that comes without those conditions that they could live with dignity so that they could get up on, back on their feet. Now, because the vote was not unanimous, there needs to be a second vote. That will happen in late July, and critics say that will give them time to organize their opposition. In Koreatown, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News. Lori, thank you. Well, the rescue operation at the collapsed Florida